seems like every time it rains, I'm inspired to meet a fox. While reading through my copy of The Lore of Scotland, A Guide to Scottish Legends by Jennifer Westwood and Sophia Kingsgill, I settled on creating a Kushahi. A Kushahi is a spectral dog the size of a cow with a long and shaggy green coat who lives in rocky ground and wanders the moors and forests of the highlands. It was said that the Kushahi, or a fairy dog, let out a terrible bark, and if you did not reach safety by the third call, it would either hunt you down to tear out your soul, or you would die from fright. I started out with sketching various pose ideas. I keep a pin in this, as I think it's where things start to go in parachute. For the base dog, I wanted to try and use a Scottish deerhound, a tall dog with a shaggy coat and long tail, fitting for a Kushi. I then started needle felting. I created the base form out of white wool, slowly building up the shape, since I didn't have very much of the dark green I wanted to use for its coat. I then made the legs, starting with the two in the front, which I attached before creating the next two. I then made the head, and I bulked up the form, getting rid of the visible seams between each of the limbs. At this point, it almost looked like a polar bear. Then it was time to add the green. I started on the body, then the limbs, and made sure to catch any gaps. It was then time to work on its fur. I started out by mixing together various shades of green and cut them down to small patches, which I then attached to the body. Just to check the concept, I trimmed this first section to get an idea of what it would look like, and decided I liked it, if it looks suspiciously sheep-like. I figured I could fix it, or it would look better when I was finished. I then created and added the tail, then the ears, finally the eyes. It still looked wrong. After taking a break from it, I thought maybe the body was too short and that was what was wrong. I cut it in half, then made a small section to fill the gap, attached it to the two halves of the body, then covered it in green to hide the gap. But even with this, I just wasn't happy with the final results. It doesn't look like a dog, it's still very sheep-like. And I think I overcompensated with the length and <laughs> just a little bit. So I went back to the drawing board, almost, and started another attempt. I created another base form from white wool. Then the legs, which I kept much simpler this time around. Then the head. I then attached the head and legs to the body. And bucked up any parts which needs more weight to them, covering up the seams between the limbs as well. Off camera, I shortened the legs and neck so it looked less like an llama. I then covered it in dark green wool. And added the ears. Then the tail. and its eyes. In the final version, I actually changed the eyes to better match some of the details in the coat. I then added some details to the face, which I think helps it look a bit more dog-like. I decided I wanted to try something different for the coat this time. I think it was a slightly smaller scale, the really fluffy coats only helped make it look more like a sheep. Since it worked so well in my Lavellum project, I decided to try something similar. 
though I want to try and create the feeling of moss rather than river weeds. But as I put it together, I realised they didn't quite work the way I wanted, so I flattened them out, using them to create a swirling pattern on the coat, which would help me blend in the decorative parts more and make them feel less tacked on. I added some beads to create more interesting texture. Then I created small pea-like shapes to create anchor points in the coat for the fur, which would allow me to layer some of the longer pieces. Finally, I added back in the longer bits of fur. And this time around, they look much more like moss. And these are the final results. Could have gotten away without the extra details and just had a plain green dog but I like the extra character they give to it. Have a very lovely day, and I'll see you next weekend.